हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओ एस आई मॉडल ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द लेयर्स ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल एंड वाई वी नीड ओ एस आई मॉडल वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो फुल फॉर्म ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल इज ओपन सिस्टम इंटर कनेक्शन मॉडल इट इज अ वर्चुअल मॉडल इट डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट इन रियल सो इट इज कॉल्ड वर्चुअल मॉडल इट टेल्स द कंसेप्ट हाउ डेटा फ्लो इन द नेटवर्क दिस इज द मेन मोटिव ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल It is developed by ISO International Organization of Standardization in 1984. It is the seven layer architecture because it consists of seven layers. We will discuss all the layers in this video: physical layer, data link layer, network layer and till application layer. First we will understand why we need OSI model. We need OSI model to perform some functions. These functions are very necessary for the data that is flowing in the network. In network, data is sent by sender to receiver. There should be some standard and protocol by which data is transferred so that the data that is sent by sender exactly the same data should be received by the receiver. For this we need OSI model. Sender will send the data, it will follow some protocols. For smooth connection in network, these standard and protocol are implemented in OSI model. One by one, we will understand all the functions. First function is no error in between conversation, no data get lost in network, and third is for encryption and decryption. All these functions are performed by OSI model. Protocols in OSI model ensure that no error should come in between the conversation. Exactly the same data should be received by the receiver. which is sent by the sender in network and second is any data should not get lost exactly same amount of data should be received by the receiver no data should be missed in between it also ensures encryption and decryption which is also called cryptography data that is sent should be in encrypted form so that it do not get disclosed any confidential data which we are sending should be in encrypted form so that it do not get leaked in network all these functions are implemented in osi model osi model has seven layer architecture because it has seven layers all the layers we will discuss one by one first is physical layer from bottom to top we are discussing all the layers so first we will discuss physical layer physical layer is the first layer of the osi model and it is the lowest layer of the osi model it is connected to the hardware it is store all the data in the form of bits this layer defines the hardware cabling wiring power output etc it is connected to the hardware through the wiring therefore it is called the basic layer of the osi model next we will discuss the data link layer Next layer is the data link layer it sends data from physical layer to network layer it also performs node to node delivery it ensure that the data is error free it means the data link layer ensure that whatever the data that is sent in network is error free no error should come in between the data in this layer data is in the form of frames this layer read and write the data so all the link errors are detected at this layer on every node it checks that the data is sent correctly so it performs node to node delivery the third layer is network layer in this layer routing of packets from source host to destination host takes place means the movement of packets from source to destination takes place in this layer this layer is responsible for address assignment and uniquely addressing host in a network in network layer data is divided in the form of packets Next layer the fourth layer is transport layer it is the heart of osi model this is the main layer of the osi model that separates all the above layers with the bottom layers of osi model in this layer data is in the form of segments this layer is also responsible for end to end delivery between host next layer is the fifth layer called session layer this layer is used for creating and terminating session between remote host For example when once password authentication is done the remote host maintain this session for a while and does not ask for authentication again in that time span Next layer is the sixth layer called presentation layer it convert data into standard format this layer defines how the data should be represented to the user it also perform encryption and decryption the data that is sent in the network is in encrypted form and when it is received by the receiver it is 
in the decrypted form so that user can understand it easily next layer is the last layer seventh layer called application layer this layer is responsible for providing interface to the application user this layer consists of protocols which directly interact with user in the three layers session presentation and application the data is in the form of message all the layers of osi model we discuss in this video in detail also the need of osi model i hope it will be clear to you for any query you can ask in comment section if you like the video hit the like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel we will meet in the next video